Streaming on TikTok Live with a pro camera. Here's how to connect the Sony ZV-E10 from settings to studio, step by step. What you're gonna wanna make sure that you do is you hit the menu and then you go all the way over on the right to your tool setting. Once you do that, you're gonna scroll down to power setting options and you're gonna turn it from standard to high. This will make sure that your camera doesn't overheat and turn off. After that, what you're going to do is you're going to continue to the right to where you see HDMI settings and you're going to click on HDMI settings. You're gonna go down, you're going to go to HDMI display info and you're gonna turn that from on to off. That's gonna make sure that you have a clean feed and everything's good to go. You can use continuous autofocus or manual focus if you want a more blurred type of background. However, I personally like manual once you set it, you can just kind of forget it. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the first camera setting. You're going to scroll over to the right to where it says intelligent exposure. You're going to change the intelligent shooting mode from intelligent to manual. That'll allow you to change the ISO as well as the shutter to be able to turn up the ISO to add more light as well as the shutter to be able to turn up the shutter to take away more. Light. That'll allow you to be able to use the settings manually. I would not go anywhere lower than one over 60 for the shutter specifically. And for the ISO, I don't like to go above 2,500. However, if you need more light, you can add more through that. Now that we've dialed in your camera, let's get into the actual setup. Now let's take a look at what we actually need to put everything together. You're gonna to start off, you need a micro HDMI cord. You're going to need the Elgato 60X and your Sony as well as a power adapter. Your power adapter is gonna be used to plug into the wall and remove the battery from the bottom here. You're just gonna plug that in and then there's a little flip that goes on right here that can make sure that you can close that door afterwards. Once you plug that into the wall, that'll give you continuous power for over 30 minutes. Now, when we look at our Elgato, you're going to have an HDMI cable and you are going to have a USB-C cable. USB-C cable is going to go right into the center, and then the HDMI cable that this comes with is going to go into HDMI out. Once you put it into HDMI out, you are going to take the HDMI with the micro, you're going to plug it into the side here, and you are going to plug that into your HDMI in. This should be the only other HDMI that's needed. Now you have everything plugged in here. You're going to take the other end of the HDMI, as well as the USB, right into the side. Now, once you've done all that, we're gonna open up Live Studio. You can click camera. And then what you can do is you can make all your adjustments here. You're gonna click the drop down to make sure that it says Elgato 60X if it doesn't already. You're gonna make sure that your resolution is 1920 by 1080. You're gonna make sure that your frame rate is 30 frames per second FPS. And you're gonna make sure that your bit rate is 6,000 kbps. And now you're ready to go live on TikTok with pro quality. If you found this video helpful or if you have more questions about how to go live on TikTok Live Studio, make sure to drop a comment into the comment sections below so we can answer them for you. I'm Manager John and I'll see you on the next video.